Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel, man. <laughs> Good to be back, guys, with another video on uh, map making and all the nice things that we all do together here in Farming Simulator 22 and 19 and all the other stuff. Great, man, guys. So today's video, we're going to do the second episode on converting this Volvo hall from FS19 to 22. So we're going to carry on where we left off the last time we we um, just started dipping into the XML workings and all that. And we're going to have a look at that today, um, see if we can uh, make all the XML functionality that there needs to be uh, working perfect, you know, like the placement and all that type of stuff and the clear areas and level areas and all that. So we're going to do that today and see how far we get. Great, man. But uh, just before we get into that, do pause the video now and just hit the subscribe if you haven't done that yet. It really does help my channel. Um, I do try and grow my channel, you know. So if you're interested in, in Farming Simulator and all that stuff, my channel does all. That's the only thing that my channel is about, you know. Uh, how to do maps, how to make uh, make things and how to uh, um, edit things and all that. So it does do a lot of good. I also have got a, uh, um, a very nice community there on... on um, What's a Discord? So if you want to jump on my Discord, there's a lot of guys there that are are like on the go and and really helpful, you know, with solving problems and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, guys, let's get stuck in. That's the the best thing I can say. I'll grab yourself something to drink and let's get working. <laughs> Good. So for now, we can get the little picture out of the way. What I've got open here is for the mod. It's for the placeable hall. Uh, the mod desk I've got that open and what I've done here in the previous uh, episode just changed the version to 79 and now in this uh, episode for this episode I've changed my name because I'm the author now of this new mod the version it's obviously version 1 and then I've just give credit to the contributor or to the guy who made the mod obviously by adding a contributor section and then the rest I've left basically all the same titles and that. So that everything worked fine like that. I don't want to um, add anything extra to that. I also leave the multiplayer support there as true, which is always good so that your mod can also be used in multiplayer. Unless the mod obviously is, is something that's not made for multiplayer, you know. I can't really think of an example, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, here we go, guys. And then the hall, that's the XML we're going to be f uh, playing around with. And then I've got us a um, from the Rudolf Hoffman directory in the placeables under the game, the main game folder, data, placeables, Rudolf Hoffman, um, garage contractor. And I've taken that XML for us to have in a, as an example. If we find something is not nice in it, we will just jump to another XML. There's like hundreds of examples in there, you know. So, um, not a shortage of examples. <laughs> Good. Right, let me just grab a sip of coffee here. Mm. Nice. All right. So, what we want to do is, if you look at the hall as, um, as it is currently, um, we want to just run through the basics of what we saw in the previous episode. We saw the clear and leveling areas. The leveling areas actually worked, but I just want to verify that that is set up correct. So we want to do the clear and leveling areas just to make sure that we have that sorted. So if there is anything like that, oh, these are clear areas and the leveling. All right, so we're going to check both of those and just make sure that that is there. But before we do that, I just want to have a browse I saw there was an error in the last episode about the placement that the X and Y is not used anymore. So this is the new placement um, that we're going to just take over to the new XML or, or to the new version. So we're going to copy the placement and replace the placement here. I think is the very first thing normally in your in your objects. There it is. You see that placement. So the, the, this obviously doesn't get used anymore. So we're going to just drop it in here. Control V, and then just see. Uh, yeah, you see, it's it it now it works with a, a test area start and a test area end instead of having an, an coordinates for it. You know, so then we can just delete that. And now, obviously, we're going to have to have a look if there's a note for test area start and test area end in our um, 
in our I3D of that hall. So let's go there, mods uh, hall, and then open the I3D just to see what's in here. We might have to import um, some of these things, you know, if they're not available. So we might have to do that. So we'll check now if there is stuff like that. Areas, all right. Start an end. Start with an end. So I don't know which area this is. 33. And foot minus 46 was that one. 33 and minus 46. So I wonder if I can just quickly jump back to our, our hall. Just want to control Z that. 33 uh, is definitely test, test size test size size and size so we've got the test area and the size so i'm not too sure if if that is what what's going on in 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 um fs22 but what we'll do is we're going to definitely just copy a test area from this garage contractor so we're going to open that mod as well from fs22 data placeables Rudolf Hoffman in there and then garage contractor garage contractor there it is so we're going to open the i3d oh that's animation all right let's have a look if that opens there you go and then just find that test area uh, test areas there it is so we're going to go file export selection you don't have to go with files for these areas things so we're just going to go export selection go into our mods folder now mods mods and then into the volvo hall um, i'm just going to make a temp directory here where i can just drop stuff in because we're going to delete it anyway once you've imported it you can delete it so i'm just going to call this test area like that save it so we're going to leave this open so we can come back to it whenever we feel like, you know. And now we're going to go just check where it has placed it. Team test area. There it is. So once you've imported, you can delete this I3D. You don't need it anymore because it's going to be imported into your map, uh, into your mods I3D. So it becomes sort of uh, imported into your map, into your mods I3D. So go file import and then the last thing that you exported will obviously pop up for you so it's very nice and handy so the test areas we're now going to add into our mod so i'm going to middle click and drag drop that onto my thing there and it will drop it right to the bottom okay so test areas will have a start and an end you see a start and an end so what we're going to do now is just go zoom out start and an end so start and end all right so i'm going to push this one up right up to somewhere there give it a bit of space let's make it minus 40. that's a nice round number and the end area bring that down just to sort of uh, get get the whole block around the the thingamabob so let's make that to 50 uh, not there 50 here so all right so that's our test areas done okay now what we need to do is make sure that our test area is now got the right nodes and everything here set up all right so test area placement Test area one start, test area one end. So that should be now in our thing here, one start and end. So it works with those names. So the nodes is for that. There might also be a uh, I3D mapping for it. So let's just have a look at the bottom here if there's a test area because there's normally an I3D mapping for it. You see, uh, test leveling, clear, clear, clear rolling. Oh, did I did not see any test. So the clear and leveling is there definitely. So there's no mapping for that. So we can leave it as is. So, but we're going to have to definitely do some mapping for, for this. So I'm going to just grab. I think we'll grab it as we, as, we, as we need it in the next steps, you know. So yeah, there we go. So that is all done. 
The sound you can leave as is, it will make that little sound the moment you place it in game from the shop. That's all, all, all okay. So the next thing I want to just check, day night objects. We also had an error with the lights. We'll work through that later on. Animated objects, we, we knew, we, we saw all the animated objects work, but there might be a problem with the sound files. I remember there was a problem with the sound files. So I'm going to show you just how to fix those as well. It's very simple and easy. Uh, so let's just run through them from the top. The day night, we'll get back to the day night stuff. I just want to get all the, the right stuff into the R3D here. All right, so um, let's work then on these uh, parts. That's fine. We didn't have a problem with the actions and all those worked. So moving the sounds. So what you want to do is, I know the names have changed, so we're going to go into the, the base game, which will be uh, FS22 data and then sounds and then in there will be prefab have we got a prefab yes we have a prefab and then gate so that's a gate sound and then we could just gonna put the right names in here so that it's just a little either the dash changed or something like that so gate loop so we find gate loop and you'll probably see yeah it's just a name change so all we need to do is copy that name and paste it in there and the same with opened and closed so now we find opened gate uh, opened there you go oh my word now I played it slow click for my bop slow click there and then quick click here gate opened and back in here oops not there back in here and closed gate closed gate closed there it is Right, double click here, control V, and there you go. So what we can do now is just um, update it. There is a few places where this is popped up. So um, you see there's a few more. So we can use the replace tool. So we're going to go take this whole line, select this whole line. Uh, sorry, we'll have to go to the next occurrence of the gate loop wav. So just take that whole line like that. Control F. It will pop it in there for you. Replace, go to the replace. And then we go up here with the original, or, or not the original, but the one we want. Control C. And just drop it in here at the bottom. Control V. See, so it just changes the name for you. So we're going to say replace all. And it should update all those little ones there for us. You see, there it is. Okay, now the same draw with, um, with the next line. Control C on that. Overwrite this one, Control V, and then we take this one here. It's the one we want to change to. That's the fixed one. Control C and Control V, like so. Replace all, right? And the last same drill with the last one. Just do that. Control C, drop it in here. Control V, and then. Oh, closed the last one and that will get rid of all our sound errors that we saw in the previous episode if you haven't watched the previous episode it might be a good idea just to run through that <laughs> before you do these all year right so that's our sounds now should be fine we will definitely test that again when we get to it um, animated objects animated objects animated objects all right so leveling it's our next next thing the leveling i didn't have a problem with the leveling um and there wasn't any issues with it because it did level nicely but i just want to make sure it is up to standard with fs22 stuff you know so we're going to find leveling uh here in fs22 leveling there it is you see it's got a little bit of a a, a different setup Let's just go back to our leveling here. Start node, width node, height node, ground type. You know what? I don't see any problem with, with this setup here. Start with height node. It's the same as here. Uh, start with height node. So it's just the naming that's different. And in this case, they've used, um, instead of the naming, they've used the node for it. 
this is a note so if you go into your i3d you'll see leveling uh, clear area test area leveling where's the leveling it's probably in some German name I mean it's just area start it might be it might be this it might be this <laughs> let's have a look so it will be here uh, the node is 0 19 let's just have a check yep it's 19 it's 19 0 uh, so it's 19 0 0 and 19 0 1 uh, start is 19 0 width and height all right so that is definitely it let's just have a look at start so it's 19 0 and then width is 19 0 0 and height is 19 0 1 all right because this three is now named in the xml we can actually just call this thing a uh, level area level areas just to be um, clear because the name here for the transform doesn't uh, come up in the xml but it is definitely node uh, uh, pulled in via the node number instead of the name so you can change it if you want but because it's working perfectly like that I'm not going to be bothered with it which also means that we won't need a uh, mapping for it uh, won't need a mapping for that um, you'll see there will be definitely a mapping for it if I remember correctly leveling area you see so you it saves you from bringing the mapping in here to to map the name to the node you know so because <laughs> this maps the the name that you've used here to the actual node in the r3d that's what the mapping is for you know so uh, because this is already set up like this they've put the node in here instead of the name there's no mapping needed for it all right so let's leave it as it is the tip occlusions i'm not going to be bothered with that but what we want to do was the, the clear areas clear areas is so let's check with the clear areas the clearing areas didn't work if you uh, check the previous episode because the grass was still growing so we need to go into the clear areas and just check the clear areas let's just first see um, in our r3d here what's going on with the clear areas So what he's done basically is he's got the clear areas, the three of them, but it seems like they have not been uh, so nice and big, you know. So what I'm going to do rather um, is just come in here. Where is our test areas? Did we do the test areas? Which one did we do now? It wasn't. It was it the test areas. Fifty and 40 all right so we can actually just use that same um, attributes for for that transform there so start so we've got there's also a height so one is it's x and y and then z for the height or the other way around here in in um in um, forming simulator 22 let me just go back to our what was it now clear leveling and uh, sorry that's in the contract is clear areas okay so clear area one 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 and one two is our clear areas so let's just have a look so that is one 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 and one two here at the nodes Alright, so that's definitely our things. So test area. I just want to see where is that? Is that the height? Why is that three here? I don't understand the three. Ah, oh, you know what? I see. I see. I just want to see if the height changes on, on one of them here at the Y. So it's 0 0.833, 0 0.7, and 124. I clearly don't understand what's going on here so nicely. But let's just leave it as is. I'm going to just make it a bit bigger so, so that it clears a bit, a bit of a bigger space when you place it down. 
All right, so going from the first one, which will be this one, um, top left, then bottom, and then that one there. All right, so let's go to the first one. Pull that up a little bit. There's no fencing here, guys. So because there's no fencing, it doesn't really matter. But we want to just clear the area around the shop a little bit more. So that one, 26. And that one. So height is Z. Or not height, but at least Z. I'm going to make this one. Control C. Copy that. Control V, so it's at the same level, you know. So otherwise, you're going to have a skew line there. All right, so there it is, and then obviously, I want to take this one a little bit out. So that's the X. So we want to go with X to say 26. Could be all right like that. Copy that down, and then this one's X. We also want to put on the same. And then bring it away down here a little bit. Uh, this is the front of the shop, so let's let's just give it a little bit more space here for clearing. You know, in case in case there is a bit of uh, what the clearing does, guys. It it removes the foliage, grass, and all that kind of stuff, Br brush and bushes and flowers. It clears the area where you place the mod. You know, so that's basically what the clear area is. And I suppose it was working. It was just not, it was very like close to the building, so it, it wasn't giving enough room for clearing the area around, you know. Then the other nice thing about the clear area, uh, the leveling area, is you can say the ground type that you want placed. Okay, ground type, what, 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 what the leveling area will do, it will level the, the place, the area of the mod, and it will put down whatever ground type you there you have there the clear areas you can have um, foliage type in here and make it say grass like in if you take if you look at your cow bonds you will you will see you can get the note from there or, or the actual line to put in here or the, the addition to it I would say all right anyways so back to our i 3 I just want to verify um, that we now have in the uh, the leveling area that we have enough space there uh, test area level area start yeah you see with you see this level area is also not good enough in my eyes so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make all these areas basically the same uh, so transform one will be control shift and C so let's find that same one uh, level area start it will be there control shift and V so now it will level that block that we're gonna put in here so width uh, will be this one control shift C once again and then let's go width and control shift and V oh my word why is this one its start node is uh, probably different clear area uh, you see the clear area has got a little bit on the why I don't know why it's there but I'm not gonna fiddle with something that works so I've, I've learned enough to to live well alone you know like my grandpa used to say all right so this one we're gonna have to manually do then uh, bring it back just want to see where we start with this is uh, 26 is the X control C and then uh, sorry I wanted to go yeah it's 26 and then the width not too sure why this works from here because if I put 26 in here it's definitely gonna jump down to something that it shouldn't you know translate Z is 30 and look look where that is and then that is definitely not the same but anyway I'm just gonna make it like so so it will level a, a little bit more maybe than than the clear area and then the height obviously we want to make a little bit 
more height as well i would say something like that and the main key here guys is to be above your uh, thing i'm not a hundred percent above but i'm fairly close you know to, to to know if you're fairly close is just look at the circle around if you're not if you're not on top of your thing it will give you two circles i'm just gonna move to the side a little bit and then you'll see there's two circles so i'm just and this thing you will be able to see right from the top when you when you fairly close to the center there it is so that's fairly close enough so you can judge the the corners and everything that you put down very nicely good all right so that's the leveling the test areas and the clear areas all done so i want to save that now and um just go back in here that tip occlusions we're happy with those so there's no real need here for um for mappings at the moment but if you do want to use the naming for it um, like for instance uh, instead of the nodes put the name in there of the node and then then you're going to have to definitely make r3d mappings you know that's the difference all right so i would say at this stage let's just go in game have a check at um what the game is saying now and just get back to those light errors we'll start the errors from the top and work through them one at a time so we're going to do that now it's going to be interesting to sort them out and um, enjoy it with you sorting out all the nitty gritties you know so while we wait for this thing to load i'm going to have a sip of water all right in we are next one new farmer continue i'm just gonna deselect put this up for money uh, that we don't need and then just click start and then we can watch our stuff go by there will be some reddish there and some yellowish which we need to fix oh did i forget oh my word i forgot to select the, the actual wall don't do that in your in your um, setup, guys. Uh, I just definitely made a big mistake, so we'll quickly have to just um, start and then uh, confirm, then no, and click and escape, and go down and quit game, yes, and then just restart the whole process. I was going to say there should be some some errors there. I know there were some errors continue um, deselect all and this time around make sure we select the hole where is it the hole here's the hole start nice right so at least we can um, now quickly check all the errors and we can also test now quickly the placement um, the leveling and clear areas if that is now better than it was because it was very tight you know I remember in the last video it was very tight it was actually on the building's edge and the grass was growing there where, where you want to walk you know so we want to sort that out okay and here we go sure my game is lagging a bit I don't know what's going on here gosh what is going on guys why is my game lagging like that? No man, I can't play like that. Something is afoot. And I think it's got to do with um, updates and stuff going on. You know, it's so annoying when you've got aut updates automatically working. And I saw... You see, uh, uh, that's just queued. So it's not, not the updates... Maybe this will help you too. <laughs> I don't know what's going on now. Something is very laggy. Something is very laggy. Game DVR broadcast user. What is that? Just having a quick check what is eating my resources. 
this I can close. Uh, I was busy working on one of my fruit packs just to see what's going on. Okay, I can't really see any anything at the moment. I can close the Microsoft Edge as well. For some reason, Microsoft Edge is always running in the background doing stuff. Anyway, let's go back into the game. Maybe it's better now. I hope so. Yo, guys, I don't know what's going on here. My game has never lagged like this before. Anyway, I just want to buy this thing so I can see if the stuff works. So let's go in there. Construction. Um, this will be here, the hall. And then now I want to try and zoom out a little bit so we can have a better view. Here we go. And also I want to turn it around so that we have it sort of. Not enough money. Oh my word. That's why I brought my friend, uh, the development tools, is to buy, get us some bucks. Let's try again. Purchase, um, haul. Okay, here we go. Oh, the Volvo. Hall. It is the front is now this side. Good. So let's now see if it clears and levels. You know, it does level. It does level and it doesn't clear. That's the problem. So we're going to definitely do uh, some work on that clearing and leveling. And I think that is what, what happens with that. Um, I just want to buy it once more and place it here on this uneven ground. You know, just to see it does do leveling. But I think it's got to do with that that uh, Y that on the leveling is at minus 1.2. I, I, I didn't really like that too much. But um, yeah, let's try it again. Just buy another one. And let's go up here. Place it down here. Now what this should do, it should level it nicely as well. You can see our leveling size is it's much better. Remember we, we upped it a bit. Now I'm going to have to exit the game guys. But it still the clearing doesn't work. So I'm going to just pause here and quickly see what's going on with my PC. Something is annoying me very much here. I don't know what it is. Right guys, <laughs> we're back. I actually um, did about half hour, half an hour's recording and I lost it for some reason. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, weird stuff is not going right this morning. <laughs> Anyways, um, what I've been doing... Um, in my previous session is we, we were lagging a bit and having problems and I discovered it was just the, the edit. I had too many editor windows open and then I opened the game as well and together the editor and the game works together. So something in there, uh, I don't know what is the problem. But anyway, when I closed the editor, all was fine and uh, the lagging, excess of lagging was gone. Um, anyway, so... Um, what I've done uh, in this half an hour that I actually lost now is I've taken the clear areas from the garage contractor on top and I've copied that over to my hall and I just stay, took the naming of the clear areas so that the start width and height node should reflect in my in my mod. So here we go. If we go to clear areas, I've just renamed this. It was only called transform. And I've renamed that three transform to the right ones and just made a note of the nodes for them. So it, it's 011 and then 012 and then obviously the top one uh, 010, you know. So going back here, that's what I've done. Updated that and I've copied over from the garage contractor. I copied over the I3D mappings for that clear areas and just updated my nodes so that the clear areas will work. Because the clear areas wasn't working. And then another thing I noticed was that the the leveling 
was leveling higher than the ground level. So what I've done with the leveling is just checked my start width and height should always be at zero on the high on the Y because the Y is your height of of the leveling. So if you if you change the height of the leveling, it will level the ground to that height. You know, so just make a note of that also. The, the, the height of it must always be zero. Uh, although they've got a height here, this is not height. It's just um, a way of having length, breadth, and the third one obviously is height. The best one to call it is to call it, uh, um, they actually got it start width and height. So I don't know why they have it there. It's a bit confusing. So it's not actually physical height. It's just <laughs> a way of having a third point on the, on the, on the 2D side of of the map you know so it's crazy naming in my opinion because it's confusing it's not height it is actually just um, start with and breadth it's probably the better way to call it a breadth or uh, um, a, a, as on a 2d thing you'll have three points you know x y and z on a 2d thing and um, yeah the one will be breadth not height but anyway on 3d you work with height you know <laughs> so this is not 3d um yeah anyways so all of that done and tested it's all working great now now we're going to move over to the errors that we have so there's a lot of errors in um in the thing itself so i'm just going to open a new window here uh into fs22 and we're going to go to our save game was two yes no sorry i don't want to go save game because i didn't save i just want to open the log now in the log if we go control F, type error, we will get to our first error. Okay. Test area start, test area end. That's an error. Why did it give me this error? Test area start, test area end. So it looks like in FS22, you need to have the mapping. So if you don't put the mapping in the I3D mapping, it will give you this problem. Although the mapping is working, uh, or, or not the mapping, but the, the XML is working, it's still going to give you the problem. So there's our test areas, start and end. There's our start and our end. So what we need to do is add a mapping for um, test area 1 start and test area 1 end. Test area 1 area start and test area end have I got two of them now am I confused let's just have a look we've got placement I just want to check here I've moved I've moved my um, my areas and stuff all together here onto the top so we've got leveling We've got placement and we've got test areas. Did I forget to change the naming of this node? Remember we copied that uh, placement, I think in the previous video, I think. Uh, test area start and test area end. So somewhere, um, somewhere we've got a problem now with our naming, I think. So I think it might be in the R3D. Test area one start, test area one end. That's our leveling is there this is there i'm not going to change the uh, the uh, the order of anything in the r3d that's always good to keep that the same and just modify your xml accordingly you know so that's our test areas 20 20 0 and 20 0 0 yeah, that is very strange. Why I have that that problem in the in the in the um, in the log? It's not test area one. It's just test area. Oh, it is one. Sorry, man. Am I blind? <laughs> there it is. Okay, so it's just a mapping problem. So let's open that map. I keep on closing this, coming back to this hall of ours. Right. So my oh, word. So mappings. So add a mapping for that. Control C, and I'm just gonna hit Control V a few times to create a few for us like that. Just gonna make a distinguishing a line between it so I don't get confused here. 
and we're going to go into our into our um, R3D here. Grab the name of that. So test area one start is that index bar. So we copy that in here. That will be in there. Control V, paste it in there, and then obviously the name. Don't close it. Just click here at the bottom, because otherwise we're going to have a problem. So we copy the name back into the XML, and just double click this. Control V for paste, and there you go. Test area one start, and then also now we want to do the end, which will be back here. The end will be there. Copy that back in here. In control V, like so. It's test area end. And then also copy the node. Control C in here. If you double click the node here, it won't work. But it does if there's like char special characters and that type of stuff. Sorry, I must do that one. Not that. All right. So there you go. So that's our test area. So hopefully that will sort our problem there for the index not found. All right. So let's go to the next area. So it's still the same test area, test area, test area. Okay. Control F, find us the next area. Oh, my word. Okay. Let's go down to the bottom. So that's all the errors done okay that's the only errors we had okay so let's go to the top of our thing and go back here and then just type warning because obviously the rest will be warnings not errors okay the zip mods we can um, skip so I'll just click below them and click find next foliage LOD okay that's a game error nothing to do with us find next <coughs> Right, here we go. This is a common error in um, converting from FS19 to 22 is the, the, the placeable day-night objects is not supported anymore. Use the visibility conditions tab in the editor exporter instead. All right, so what we're going to have a look, I recall there's some stuff in the XML that was uh, related to the day-night stuff. So we're going to have a a look at this they've got nodes day night object visible visible day false visible night true okay so what we're going to need to do is find these objects in the r3d and then just each one of them make a change to the visibility tab so this is a thing that in the day it's not visible but at night it is so that's basically what this part of the xml says so this we can delete this whole part, but we need to update it in the R3D itself. So find that node. It will be node uh, 300. So very simple. It probably be by the lights. 300. Now a light al Gurgen, whatever that is. We'll probably find it here. That's this 30, and we're looking for 300. Okay, so 30 is that one. So 300 will be in there, and there's the Illum. When you see Illum, you know, yeah, you found the light. All right, so this one needs to have its visibility condition set to, not to be parent, use parent, but I just want to see now, you, you, you could be, if you have something in the Illum like this, just have a look what it is. So it looks like this thing is not a physical thing. It's all right. If it's a cube, does it have any shapes? And is it, it is visible? This is very okay. So we need to make sure now, and I see this e Illum is invisible, which is, which means that we can set the, um, the visibility for it. All right, so what we want to do is go into this and then into the hex, uh, weather required hex, uh, not the weather required hex, uh, weather prevent. I think it is this one. 
prevent required mask kicks. It might be the required box says uh, out of vehicle. No, which one is it then now? Uh, weather. Ah, here we go. Night. We want the weather. The weather required. In other words, we want the night to be set there. All right. So there you go. So we've set it now to work only at night. So 40 will be the the the, uh, the hex for it or the mask 40. Weather required mask 40. So when it is night, this will become visible. So weather required. So when it's night, it will become visible. I think that will be it. We're going to have to test this in game, guys. So obviously the next one, I, c I suppose, will be 310, 320 and up to 350 so let's have a look in here that's 310 that's it 320 34 30 340 and 350 i don't know what this one is 36 have we got a 36 in there we don't have a 36 so that one is going to obviously need to be set as well because it's not in the xml but um yeah we we this is just a lamp holder so let's just have a look at that if what is that lamp holder okay so it's just a holder so that you can't see to be visible because or invisible because otherwise you won't see it you know so <laughs> otherwise they'll appear and disappear <laughs> and that you don't want because it's a physical little lampshade you know so yeah that that one obviously needs to stay so as simple as open each of these and maybe they're already set now because sometimes these things are set in um no it's not so so all you can do is type in 40 here hit enter and it should update your mask automatically like that you see so saves you that bit of time going in there so each illum we're going to just uh, remove the parent uh, whether required 40 enter open that one remove the parent where are good 40 enter and then ground level that's the last one okay so that sorted out those um, now just to test guys let's just save this like so and then just save our uh, xml i just want to remove these boys save it like so all right let's just give it a test while we while the metal is burning hot let's do that um see what's going on see what's going on hopefully it will work just want to close this just to save some stuff that's going on here between the game and the editor all right here we go don't click too much ah keep forgetting i'm working on on uh, just some straightforward in-game map you know just for testing right so um if all goes well we should now when we place the mod not see that error log uh, again for um for that lights that we've changed there is a few that's left so we're going to do those now i just want to make sure that we're in the right track you know so good to test you know ah, no. all right just add some money quick and buy ourselves a shed or what do you call this thing we now know that everything is working fine on the on the placement and leveling and all that so there you go and now we need to just quickly set our extra time scales so in here we're gonna go to what is going on here did i not set the time scales if 
uh, 12. It's on. I'm pressing F and nothing's happening. What is going on here? Let me have a look. Is my game now frozen? No, the game's not frozen. It's running. Um, AI update areas. Uh, missing indoor areas. Okay, so those are stuff we can bring over from the other um, XML. Okay, I think the visible tab. Night illumination. Alright, so those we will sort out. That's an in-game in-game worry, nothing there. So we've substantially lowered our um, thingamabobs. I just don't know what's happened with the time. I think maybe I by accident did this thing. Time scale has been set to zero. All right, let's have a look. Oh, I don't know what has happened. Something has happened with my game's timing. It doesn't want to move up again. So let's just exit and carry on with the <coughs> with the errors. Let's just finish all the errors. Like I say, the error errors fixing up is one at a time. Sort them out one at a time, and let's update the log. So we have a new log now. Um, go right to the top again and find our. Uh, errors no errors anymore bah, wonderful warning our first warning the zip mods yes we're happy with those that's an in-game warning and then here we have it all right uh, placeable or XML so there's an XML placeable day night is not supported anymore okay that we are busy working out so we're gonna get to those so in this i3d user night illumination is depreciated visibility okay so night illumination is a uh, attribute that's in <coughs> in the i3d so we're going to open the i3d once again and sort the night illumination out now the light night i think it's the other lights that we haven't gotten to yet <coughs> sorry got the thing in my throat again hey uh yes anim lights animated lights anim lights just want to see what is going on with these what are these Oh, there it is okay so I'm not too sure is this now the actual light itself it's a point light it's set so this is the light itself they've got two in there and I just want to have a look if there's any attributes on these things because that's what it's complaining about so this doesn't have any attributes okay so those lights are good light switch we don't worry about I think it's all got to do with this lights here let me look here, no attributes, point lights, no attributes, no attributes at all. That's just material, so I don't see anything. Um, and it is complaining about night illumination. And it's under Illum. So the only thing we had with Illum was uh, on these things. There's the Illum. And I don't see any attributes uh, under Illum. I think the best is to grab a search here for Illum. So we can see. Ah, you see, there's another thing. The Skuld. So whatever the Skuld is, is got some Illums as well. Let's open this up. I don't see any um, 
issues there, but I suppose we're going to have to do the same for these uh, illums, uh, these few illums. So we're going to go uh, go into hex 40 for them, like so. Just going to go back and make sure they set, yes. like so just this thing you can use your replace obviously but in your replace you might change some characteristics of a light if you do them all at once unless you know it's the same light you know then you can rather replace the whole thing you know if it's a if it's a light that it's got special features or functions or whatever so it's best to do them one at a time Wait, okay. Is it, I don't see any attributes for Illum. So there is a way to track it and find it. So we'll we'll do that now. So I'm going to save my R3D like that. And then let us go back here. Right click on the R3D. Edit with Notepad. Alright, like so. Right, let's just close it up now. Because we're going to maybe work on this thingamabob so let's go back to our log night illumination it's an on create so there's a there's a script running on something here and we're gonna have to find this script and that's where the problem is so let's have a look if we can find night illumination you see there's a script on it user so the node ID is 219 209 quickly have a look where this is ground lamp so ground lamp has got an attribute to it so we find ground lamp there's a few of them you see two three four five of them isn't isn't that the ones that we um which is set why don't i see the attribute there for uh, it's an it's an actual script running on it ground lamp so find ground lamp you see it's lichten whatever that thing is it is the same thing ground lamp and i've got no scripts what's he talking about no script no script no script no script. It's supposed to sit here, but where is it? It is here. It is set here. Night illumination. There it is. It's an user attribute, you see. For note, for the ground lamp. There is a one, two, three, four. I don't understand it guys it's supposed to show there but it's it's here in the in the attributes of the um of the of the i3d section but i don't see it there it is id 209 it's for um note id 209 illum there it is that is absolutely stunning. So 209, 202, that's 204, and I suppose it's this one, yeah. 209, there is ID 209. So th this one, and there it is. ID 209 has got this script. So we need to just delete that script. But where's the others? They're supposed to be here. There's like four or five of them. Did I miss them? Oh, my word. I don't know what is going on here, guys. Ground lamp. There it is. Ground lamp. So all we do is remove those scripts from the illums. And we should be all okay. Save this and then update our thingamabob here. And you'll see now, once we've updated, ID 209 should still be there. Uh, 
and no more uh, illume so if we find night illumination now it shouldn't be there anymore okay so we've removed the, the error for night illumination which we had here in our text uh, please day night objects night illumination so that should be all sorted warnings what's the next one and that's the end of it so oh, sweet right so close all <coughs> save it up and let's just quickly test see if we've got some other errors now in game what is what else is there to fix hopefully that's all I, I saw there was some areas um, still area nodes that needs to be fixed up so we'll fix that in the next um, uh, next uh, um, round we <coughs> just want to first test and see is all our night illumination stuff now sorted continue a deselect or open that up and the hall for us please thanks all right so let's have a look let's have a look so loading up the map there's no visible problems while loading the mod from the um, mod disk but the moment you place it our our areas come into place that still got issues so that is why there's no um no stuff going on there you know no errors so far so the moment we place this then that's when the oh we need to put some money first okay and then if uh purchase for us here yeah. our garage our hall just gonna put it down here good all right so just want to now see there my time is working again wonderful something i don't know what is going on in this game but guys <laughs> okay so what we want to check now is our um errors so we have these left there's one placeable day night object somewhere that we've missed so we'll have a look at the illumes somewhere there's an illum with one left and then we've got missing indoor areas ai update areas and there's another day night object and the missing indoor areas okay so indoor and ai update areas now those are very easy to uh, fix i'll quickly show you how to do that very very simple to get rid of those quit so AI update areas and indoor areas right so here we go back to the whole i3d we can actually close this now wait a second it said that there's some night illumination but we'll have a look at that now somewhere I don't believe that because the i3d has got nothing in it so maybe in our xml we have these day night objects so that's probably what it's complaining about so what we'll do oh, i wanted to have a look first at node 14.2 what that is so let's go into the i3d in here and have a look at node 14 what was that 14.2 14.2 should be then um, whatever 14.2 is. That is 17. It's the Schult. All right. So the Schult illumes. The Schult illumes. One there, one there. It will help when you click on the thing from a bob, not next to it. Right. So there's nothing in the Schult that uh, that is set and we've already set them to um, to go into night visibility which is good all right so what we can do now is just trash this day night object section completely and that will stop the game from being confused all right so the other error was um, or warning shall I say was um, Oh, is our warnings here we go indoor areas and ai update areas so that is very simple to fix so we go to our in-game contractor which is our donor one and we go find on top our ai 
the indoor areas and the AI update areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this whole section here from 63 up to 89, hold shift, control C to copy. Go into our hall, all right, uh, at our areas on top, I'm going to go control V to paste it. So indoor areas we'll leave, uh, tip occlusion update areas we've already have. So I'm just going to delete this, we don't need that. AI update areas is what we want. Um, I only want the AI section, so this obstacle stuff we don't need. So there you go. So the AI set, and then what we're going to do is at this 61, we're going to remove the inner workings of it, like so. And same with the indoor areas. So we're just going to give it the indoor areas there, and like that, and like that, and then we should have gotten rid of those two areas all right so so there's nothing in our mod that need if you have something that you need to put in there you can obviously update the the um, very important to have it in the mapping for it as well as fix your nodes like we did with the clear and level areas or was it the level areas that we did yeah you know, it was the um, the test area and the, the clear areas Wait a sec. Oh, we actually got a few in here that doesn't belong there, remember? <laughs> we had a few more. Golly gosh, we had to have to uh, just fix our mapping a bit. All right, there you go. It's a good thing I saw that. You guys probably saw that and laughed at me. But anyway, good. So that is all done. So in here then, um, we wanted to find... Ah, uh, there wasn't any other illumes, you know, um, but let's just go through all the illumes just to make sure that there's no scripts lurking about. I know we searched the R3D for them, they, so there shouldn't be any ones that we've missed. And now uh, that should all be fine. I'm just going to close up here, collapse all, save the I3D and then close that and this now should be saved and now we can lastly just quickly test once again and I think that concludes our mod our mod should now be working like a bomb <laughs> exploding the game when you <laughs> open it up but uh, yeah I think that should should all be fine now once we finally test it and have that in error, error free I'm, I should be happy um, you don't need a mapping for the I don't think you need a mapping for the the update areas and that um, after the um, the AI the AI areas that we, we've just added but we'll see now if that um, warning comes back it'll be interesting now to check check exactly what's going on that should be very interesting. Good. Well, we're almost there, guys. Almost got one mod sorted out and finished up. Right, so same drill again. Money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those will be good. Uh, while we're there, uh, no, leave it for now. Purchase the garage first. I keep calling it a garage, but it's a hall. I honestly don't know the difference between the two. Right, so escape. There's our hall looking bright and nice. And now let's have a look at our errors. We haven't got any errors. That is wonderful. After placement, no more errors. That's what we want to see. So our AI and uh, other areas that we've added is working. The last thing now to check is if we um, can add the extra time scales okay and now hopefully it works now there you go we can now set it to um, at night see if if it works whatever we've set at night to 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 work at night it's, I can't remember what it was I think it was the illumination on this sign that doesn't work the outside lights. I know the lights works with switches, so I don't know. Not too sure 
what's going on here or was it um how do you get in here press this button here <laughs> wonderful so there is some illumination there uh, it's interesting and then obviously we can switch on the light here this light does it work what is that light is that the outside lights no and switch on this light here it does work So we're going to have to have a look at these lights, guys. Why they don't work. Off, on. Something is afoot. But the workshop lights, <coughs> they're working nicely. So whatever whatever is going on there, I'm not too sure what this is. What, what is this globe here? There's a light shining inside, some illumination there in the corner. And I can't figure out what that is. Uh, my word. Okay. Anyway. Okay, so the out outside lights is not operating as they should. And then I think that sign, that sign there um, also got that um, thingamabob that's not working. Alright. Oh, there's also an outside light. You see that thing there on top. It's not operating. Okay. Well, guys, okay. I finally, I think I figured out what's going on here. I never, uh, I didn't realize, but this barrier is inside. I couldn't figure out why this lights um, have barriers in them, you know. So I, I just was flabbergasted what's going on here. <laughs> so... Finally, I realized that this other light switch in the corner uh, here by the door. Let me just get a little bit more away. Um, there's two switches here. So they've got a light switch here for the main wall. And then this light switch here actually has got nothing to do with lights. It actually puts up more of these barriers here in the middle, which to me it is... Ah, uh, it's pointless. I don't know who would like to have more barriers. Um, these, the, the few that's there, it's already frustrating to me, but I'll, I'm leaving it as it is. So this thing switches those barriers up and down. I'll show you in game what that does. So it's got nothing to do with the lights. All right. So then what I've done um, is I've had a look at this outside lights. There are the five here. And then also this uh, street lamp that is put here in the wall. Now, what's happening is, uh, just to show you how to set that up, these lights are outside lights. They've, they work on a day-night timer in-game. So what happens is, the main transform for it, what you do is, under visibility conditions, you, you, you remove the use parent of that, okay? And then, under each lamp, you'll see they have use, uh, use parent. You can leave that on. Not really important, but the illum part of the light, the one that makes the light visible and invisible, or make the light shine. If you make that invisible as it was, they were all invisible. So you have to have it visible first of all, so that the light can shine. And then you give it a parameter here by visibility condition uh, under illum. So what you'll do now is you remove the use spirit and you give it the, the night in one in here so it will be visible at night so you sit okay there so i'm going to take this take this one you can see it went off there the moment we we added that um day night uh, um thing in there all right so we're going to just do the rest here as well uh, go to night time so okay all right and this one here will be somewhere here so we're going to switch that in on at night it's okay and the same for that one go night say okay and then the last one i think is that one at the end go night there uh night 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 is it, are we at the loom yeah we are at the loom say okay all right so that is perfectly fine and then lastly the street lamp here on the side that also the illume side of it uh, make its parent it mustn't go for parent and go uh, night on that one good and then there's these other little lights here for the sign here on top of the roof um, I can't remember what that thing was called um, 
this is this is the barriers animated barrier um where the actual light switches in that's why i couldn't figure out why is there a light switch with with the barriers and then i realized but there's hidden barriers so i went and checked in game <laughs> and i saw my word the barriers go up and down when you switch that light switch so it's actually not a light switch it's just a switch for the barrier okay i suppose if i was german i would have realized um looking at the text on the um on the xml which i've now changed uh unfortunately i've made it uh, i've taken it to um work something what was it, it the light is here on top uh a whatever that is it's probably got and i've changed this to post text and negative text um i've to actually change that now so i should change it back but uh because i've done some other changes probably i want to just do one oh i can i can do a control z it brings it back wonderful okay there you go i suppose if i was german i would have realized hmm this is something not to do with lights, you know. <laughs> All right, so I'll just re, uh, und undid that and saved it. And now what we're looking for is this little lights up here. I can't remember what they are called, but um, there you go. There's the looms for them. We have to do the same with them, uh, the looms for them. So we have to make them visible first of all so they can shine. Uh, we'll do them one at a time all right and then the condition on those we want to have it at night time okay good i'm just thinking now why oh why Let's just go back here to visibility i want to remove the use parent there mind you this doesn't really matter because it's not the illume part it's the illume part that we want okay i'm just gonna leave it and see what happens in game uh, so we've done that one now so we have to set this one also for night okay yeah they are they are working it's just for some reason it still got the effect there but it did go off you know so if we make this one visible you see it brings the light in and then uh, we go to the condition here set it to night then that goes off all right so i'm not too sure what's going on there um maybe i should have a look what's this pq the P cube is just a little lens by the looks of it. I'm just going to put that back. And the actual point light, let's just make it visible first so we can see what we are moving. So the point light, yeah, that's the actual light, the actual light um, on the ground. Control Z just to put it back where it used to be. So the point light, um, we need to set use parent on that but let me just have a look so illum is visible that's good visible on that is uh night time say okay and i think i've just found the problem there so i just want to do this one too uh visible and then night for that say okay and now what's going to happen now is our point lights if i have a look at the point light let's use this one that we can see here if I go to the uh, the point light, which is that, it should have, it has got use parent. Okay. And that one doesn't have use parent. Yeah, you see, it must have use parent on them. That's why they, they, they are illuminating um, because they are not using it, their parent. So their parent is this one. That's the parent and this is the child. So it uses that one setting, you know, so that's all only reason they were just wrongly configured for, for fs22 you know so we'll just put them all at the correct spot so they can use their parent all right good and the parent says that they are on at night all right so then that, that sorts out all that collapse all save it up 
close it up and let's just quickly test in game i think that my friends uh, was the last edit on this mod then we are done with this mod by the looks of it so let's just have a quick check and a browse and a and a look around if it's working Okay, development tools and our whole start for us. I'm just going to run the, the console just for or the uh, log file just to see if there's any funny things going by. So our last test for errors. Hopefully it's all sorted. Looks like it. I don't see anything else passing by. Confirm, no, click. Just like that. Put some money in the bank. And go out there. Oh, we're going to have to put our time scales up. Uh, let's do that too. Extra time scales. Confirm that. And then we're going to just have a quick check if it works. The time is running. Yeah, very nice. Um, and then we want to buy our shop. Let's buy our hall. Right, place it down here, and all should be well. The lights on the outside are off the way they should be. Nice, and we can go in here through the gate or through the door. The lights on the inside is off now. We switch them on. Very nice. And if I come stand here next to this little trigger and I click, you can see these barriers coming up. And that's what I'm saying. That's what that switch is doing. So all all in all, it's well. And I think if you hold, if you hold F1 here, it it shows you there on top the the description. Uh, if I now press or click up and down. All right. So that is what that description is for. If you were wondering why there's a description there, the text on or and the text off or the text first and text second positions or whatever you want to call that. Good. So all we need to now see. And verify as if this lights come on um, at night so let's do that so let's forward our time a little bit faster so we should see all the lights come on at night there you go how is that guys how is that I love it that is it all right so uh, and they should go off again when it becomes day so we can forward up to daytime just to make sure that they go off and there you go perfect <laughs> I love it good stuff man guys so that there then is one Volvo hull all finished and done ready for Farming Simulator 22 and that is how you uh, do some of the, the stuff I haven't covered everything but most of the I think mostly we've done all the all the things that's necessary all the areas we've done and we've done the um, uh, the i3d mappings we've done the xml to the i3d mapping and the xml to the i3d the links between that sorted that out we've done the naming we've created the mod desk yeah i think we've done everything in this um, tutorial or how to video to make help you along making or converting your own map uh, mods all right well guys have an awesome 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 day if you do like my content please do remember to uh, support me on patreon or paypal and also uh, hit a like okay my friends have a wonderful awesome awesome day i'll catch you on the next one cheers